What will the cities of the future be like? Most experts talk about 5 and 6G technologies, the Internet of Things, drones, and total digitalization. But that's not enough. See the top trends shaping a happy human life, with examples of their realization and a bonus, a real city of the future in Japan. Here we go. The first trend for cities of the future has nothing to do with technology. It is about green planning of public spaces. Urban areas have traditionally been characterized by high population density and heavy development. They're constantly facing pressure from growing populations, limited resources, and increasing impact of climate change. And the lack of natural space creates unhealthy urban habitats. Green spaces in cities, with walking and cycling paths, lower temperatures, reduce air pollution, and increase the natural resilience of the environment, as well as helping to restore people's psychological health. It also increases physical activity. Win-win. The World Economic Forum's Global Agenda Council on the Future of Cities has included increasing green cover in its list of top 10 urban planning initiatives. Today, the leader of terms in green space in the city is Singapore. And by the way, we talked about why it's the city of the future in the video in the link below. But greening projects are being implemented in much less wealthy and successful cities. For example, the Freetown Treetown Project in Freetown in Sierra Leone. One of the most densely populated cities in the world, characterized by rapid but uneven growth, has set itself a plan to plant 1 million trees in three years. The goal is to reduce erosion and runoff and increase the city's tree cover by 50%. The city's tree canopy is estimated using machine learning. Saplings are planted evenly throughout the city and tree growth is tracked in a special tree tracker app. The second trend of the real city of the future is a smart healthcare system. Cities are responsible for creating a healthy environment. The healthcare ecosystem should not only focus on diagnosing and treating diseases, but also on maintaining well being through early intervention and prevention using digital technologies. Scientific advances and the availability of personalized healthcare. Genomics, micromics, metabolism, and behavioral economics will provide individualized care for individuals and their families. Citizens Health Pathway will rely on interoperable data and analytics to help them make the right health and behavioral choices. Creating such a system requires investment in data privacy and security infrastructure, among other things. Chicago is an example of the realization of this trend. And the city is prioritizing the creation of interconnected health and wellness ecosystem. To accomplish this, Healthy Chicago 2.0 in 2016 and Healthy Chicago 2025 in 2020 were launched. The programs aim to maximize equity and health in the well-being of city residents. For example, instead of just treating diabetes, the organizations involved work to increase people's access to healthy food and create more walkable neighborhoods. A third trend is designing cities so that amenities and most services are within a 15-minute walk or bike ride of any resident. The 15-minute city concept, designed primarily to reduce carbon emissions, is a decentralized urban planning model in which each local area contains all the basic social functions for living and working. While this approach may not be fully applicable to every city, remote working and the digitalization of services are expanding the possibilities for applying the principle of district planning. Similar versions of urban cells or 30 and 20 minute neighborhoods have emerged around the world over the past decade. For example, Paris is implementing the La Ville de Côté, pardon my French, the City of a Quarter of an Hour program. The initiative aims to reduce carbon emissions, prioritize pedestrians and cyclists, and decentralize the city. Priority areas include easy to access jobs, shopping, schools, clinics, and cultural events. As part of transportation planning, the city's mayor has announced 350 million euros to create a pedestrian zone and bike lanes on every street in the region by 2024, as well as the removal of 60,000 parking spaces for private cars. The fourth trend of the cities of the future is mobility. Smart, sustainable, and as a service. It seems that smart city IoT systems which try to optimize traffic flow to increase road capacity, are no longer considered the direction of the future. Today, experts are convinced that the future lies in reducing the number of cars in the cities. First, the concept of 15-minute cities should in principle reduce overall intracity traffic. 
Second, there will be the introduction of multimodal mobility on demand and mobility as a service platforms. For example, residents will be able to digitally plan and book door-to-door -door trips, use the same fare card for all modes of transportation, and access automated last mile delivery service with seamless payment models. An example is Los Angeles, which is working to implement sustainable and smart mobility solutions. The city aims to reduce air pollution by accelerating the electrification of transportation. Los Angeles accounts for about half of the electric vehicles in the US, and the city has been committed to having 5 million electric autos by 2030. The city has also launched several compressed natural gas buses and about 40 zero emission electrical buses on the Orange Rapid Line. By 2030, the entire LA Metropolitan Transportation Authority bus fleet is expected to be electric, and the LA Metropolitan Transportation Authority is also working to implement air mobility. The fifth trend is a city as a digital innovation ecosystem. It implies that cities will adopt the so-called five-stage innovation spiral structure, including interactions between universities, industry, government, and the public, and the environment. At the same time, city governments will act as a bridge, providing interaction and infrastructure. Cities will become living laboratories for digital transformation and centers of experimentation using data to develop pilot projects that can be scaled. At the center of the city of the future strategy is the goal of attracting talent. An example is the city of Espo in Finland, which was one of Europe's leaders in smart city innovation and sustainability. It is home to an active startup hub in some of Finland's most valuable companies, as well as Aalto University and VTT Finnish Technical Research Center, two important players in the innovation scene. The city has the highest density of foreign talent. Espo strives to position itself as a place where development is primarily for the benefit of the residents, that is using the city as a service approach. The sixth trend is smart and environmentally friendly buildings and infrastructure. Buildings in the city of the future are constructed from sustainable and ethical materials, meaning that they will be energy, water, and resource efficient, powered by renewable energy sources, and they'll produce their own energy itself. They may also be covered with vertical and rooftop gardens. In addition, they'll utilize data and digital technologies to enable infrastructure components to become more efficient and better adapted for use by stakeholders. At the same time, thanks to digitalization, buildings will be treated with a tailored approach to heating and maintenance, taking into account the characteristics of each individual structure. Gartner predicts that by 2028, there will be more than 4 billion connected IoT devices in commercial smart buildings. These will be powered by telecommunications infrastructure with 5G and high-performance Wi-Fi, 6 or 6E, as well as smart utilities such as electricity, waste management, and water. Smart buildings will form smart neighborhoods. An example is Singapore, one of the first to adopt green architecture and sustain urban planning initiatives. In 2005, it introduced the Green Mark Certification Scheme, aimed at creating greener buildings. The goal now is that by 2030, at least 80% of buildings in Singapore will be green. As of 2018, one third of the city's building footprint met BCA green mark standards. The seventh trend is artificial intelligence. Cities of the future will implement automated processes and use data-driven approaches to planning. Machines will work 24 seven and the operations and tasks that cities perform will become increasingly smarter and based on artificial intelligence. The behavior of almost every citizen will be recorded with anonymous data and 5G technology will enable cities to become huge connected ecosystems. Moreover, cities like Dublin and Singapore are already creating digital twins of their physical assets to predict future events and trends using machine learning. Singapore isn't the only example, but also Qashqai's Portugal. The coastal resort city of 200,000 people attracts around 1.5 million tourists annually and aims to become the best place to live for a day or a lifetime. To improve the efficiency of infrastructure, transportation, public safety, and other services, the city has developed a large portfolio of technological services, ranging from energy-efficient buildings to remote parking payments. In 2018, Qashqai has developed a digital command center for managed services, the Deloitte City Synergy Platform. The platform supports ecosystem management, 
predicts events based on data analytics, and facilitates decision-making in urban planning. For example, by integrating real-time traffic and road condition data, the system optimizes garbage truck schedules and routes, reducing operating costs by up to 40%. The eighth trend is cybersecurity and privacy in the city of the future. An attack on a smart city infrastructure can have cascading effects that affect other parts of the city, country, or even beyond its borders. Moreover, the greater the complexity of technologies involved, such as operational interactions and system management, the greater the interest of hackers in such environments. Therefore, cybersecurity issues should be taken into account at the planning stage of a smart city. Interestingly, there has been an evolution in cybersecurity over the past decades. Initially, cities tried to build their own fortresses, but then started realizing that using the cloud would be more secure, as many cloud service providers have security experts working 24-7, with great capabilities to monitor, detect, and prevent attacks. An example of a secure city is Tel Aviv. Faced with an ever-increasing number of cyber attacks in 2010, Israel began building a cybersecurity ecosystem that it could detect and respond to threats on its own. The framework for it was developed jointly by the government, military, and academia, and the business sector. Today, the Israeli cybersecurity industry accounts for 31% of the global investment in the sector. The ninth trend of the cities of the future is the most controversial, the use of artificial intelligence for police surveillance and prediction. How to respect human rights, data privacy, and surveillance in the interest of security, as well as predictive policing. Despite the debate on ethics, the pace of adoption of neural networks for security purposes has increased in recent years. The use of intelligent solutions such as biometrics, facial recognitions, smart cameras, and surveillance systems is on the rise. A recent study showed that smart technology can help cities reduce crime by 30 to 40 percent and reduce emergency response times by 20 to 35 percent. The same study found that cities have begun investing in real-time crime mapping crowd management, and gunshot detection. Cities are using facial recognition and biometrics, in-car and body-worn cameras for police, drones and aerial surveillance, and emergency apps for public safety. An example of implementation is the city of Kanagawa in Japan. In preparation for the Tokyo Olympics, the Japanese police launched an artificial intelligence-enabled smart system. It is able to determine whether the same person has committed multiple crimes by comparing data related to each crime. Using this information, the AI can predict the criminal's next move. But Japan has a far more interesting example of a city of the future. Just 90 kilometers from the Japanese capital, Tokyo, at the foot of the famous Mount Fuji, the Toyota Automobile Corporation is building something large scale. We're talking about a modern, innovative city of about 700,000 square meters, which will be built from scratch. Woven City is being created based on three principles, human-centered, which is respect and prioritization of people's needs, a living lab that allows for seamless testing of new technologies in real world conditions, and a constantly evolving approach so that new technologies and services are constantly growing and improving. It's known that the Japanese city of the future will be powered solely by clean energy and the houses will be built predominantly of wood. At the same time, they'll be equipped to the maximum with robotics, artificial intelligence technologies, and other systems that will check the health of residents take care of their basic needs, and improve daily life. The city will be covered with vegetation grown without soil, among other things, and at its center will be a huge park and a plaza for the local community gatherings. People, buildings, and vehicles in the city will be connected through data and sensors. There are three types of roads planned for Woven City, for Toyota e-pilot drones, pedestrians, and personal transportation, that is, bicycles and scooters. According to the author's plans, all three types of streets will intertwine with each other and form a single organic network. There will also be an underground road for transportation of goods. Food in the city will be the responsibility of Nissan Food Products, which offer innovative products based on the latest achievements of molecular nutrition science. The food will be exceptionally healthy, delicious, and personalized. Woven City is to be a laboratory for developing technologies to improve people's quality of life and solve social problems. Innovations in robotics, artificial intelligence, unmanned transportation, smart homes will all be tested here. The project is promising and we're definitely going to follow it. How do you see the city of the future? 
Write in the comments, like the video, and don't miss new releases from the world of high technology.